Baby, you a masterpiece. God took his time on you. Always on my mind, but I'd rather have my mind on you. Beauty is defined on you. Perfectly designed on you. If you see your flaws, let it. Hey, y'all. Okay, so. This is my honest attempt at Vlogmas. We're gonna do Vlogmas. <laughs> okay, so. Um. I'm just gonna give y'all some disclaimers. First of all, I will not be uploading every day. It's just. I want to be a little bit realistic with my goals and so I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do Monday Wednesday Friday I think that I can do that so basically on Monday you'll get weekend content on Wednesday you'll get Monday Tuesday's content and on Friday you'll get Wednesday and Thursday content like seems legitimate to me okay, today's november the 30th so today is the last day of november we just got back from hilton head yesterday and this blog this vlog won't be up until wednesday because the hilton head blog would have been up on monday today so um we just got back to hilton head i mean uh, blah, 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 blah. we just got back from hilton head yesterday so i'm about to edit this hilton head vlog so i can go ahead and get it uploaded for y'all um, I do have some uh, meetings and consultations today, um, but not that much. And my week doesn't really look that busy just from looking at my whiteboard. It's not really giving me busy, busy, um, which is which is fine. Um, but yeah, we're just we're just gonna get to to get to this vlogging, y'all. I literally need a new laptop. So freaking mad, like sis be sis right here be acting like she don't never have no space on her and you know she's been she's been in my life for about five or six years um and she still works fine however you know when they get old they be tripping like apple y'all trying to sponsor me on a new laptop because your girl need it <laughs> every time i try to edit a video y'all it's a problem every time i try to edit a video she'd be like uh i don't have enough space i can't i can't hold all these videos girl girl tighten up so i usually have to go in and i use my external hard drive here it's connected and i usually have to go in and make sure all of my video files and all of my completed videos are on the hard drive so i can delete them off my laptop like that's the life i'm living right now it's cool though y'all okay so let me tell y'all i want to tell y'all about how i had got my hair done and so i'm trying to take them out so yeah, I got my hair done. I guess these are spring passion. I don't know what these are, but I am not a fan. Like, you know, it's nothing against the girl who did my hair because she's fine. Like she does my knotless braids. And for those who know me, like I love when I get knotless braids. Like it's my favorite protective style thus far. Like I started getting them literally a year ago. And um, yeah, I've had them twice and I keep them in for about two months every time. But this style, I'm just not feeling it and I don't know what I don't like about it. Um, I was never a fan of the passion twist hairstyle to begin with. Um, so I don't really know what I was expecting when I was getting this style to be totally honest. Um, what I don't like about this is the hair that's used is like a water wave hair so it doesn't even fit in with like my hair texture. And then also like my hair is kind of slipping from it because this is so like soft I guess. Um, granted when I got my hair done I only planned to keep this hairstyle in for three weeks. And it has been three weeks. So again I'm not mad at it. I just would not. I would not be getting this again in my head. Um, I think that if I do more like a twist style, I stick to the Havana twist and I stick to the Marley twist. Like that really just is it for me. I don't really like any of the other twist styles. And I also don't like hairstyles with big parts because I feel like my hair, my hair doesn't last as long when I have big parts in my hair versus when I have smaller. But I mean, do y'all like them? Do y'all like them? Let me know. Also, y'all, please excuse the mattress in my back. Look at look at that. See, like, look at my edges. Anyway, yeah, like, please excuse the empty mattress in the background. Um, 
we do Airbnb our house from time to time. So we Airbnb our house while we were gone in Hilton Head. And so right now we're just, we've just cleaned everything up and sanitized everything. And so I'm not putting my personal stuff back onto the bed until January because we have two more Airbnbs to do um, before the end of that. And I'm just not gonna pull all my stuff back out for a stranger to be like comfortable on it. Like it's just not happening. Now, just in case you're wondering, that's what that looked like. Um, yeah, no no cute pink pillows. No nice black, just... It's in Airbnb mode. The house in Airbnb mode, okay? My dad just made me an egg sandwich. So sweet. But, y'all, when it, when it gets around, like, my cycle, eggs don't smell good to me. And I, I literally, like, love eggs, but, like... When I'm near my cycle, eggs make me like, what? what? It's disgusting. I'm gonna eat a couple of bites of this for the nourishments of my body, but I'm not really feeling an egg sandwich right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna eat it though. I don't waste no food. Okay, so what time is it? It's It's 9.30 and I just got off work and ate dinner so i'm back home now and i got a package today from some black friday shopping that i did um i'm gonna open the package because it's just in a standard usps box but i'm gonna open the package and tell you more about what i've ordered okay so i ordered from this black owned business called black and posh um i got a couple of things Okay, cool. cool. Right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll try some of this stuff on so y'all can like see what they have. And please excuse me y'all, like I told y'all it's that time and it's the end of the day. So like I'm naturally bloated right now. Not that I have to explain myself to y'all, but just to let y'all know that's what it is. I'm assuming it just ties like that, real. It actually kind of don't look that bad with the bralette. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's a cute little, little blouse. This is cute. This is probably more of a summer top or like a vacate, vacate top. Ooh, a vacay top. I do got one of those coming up soon. And then I got um these are two sweaters they're the same sweater just in two different colors but i'm gonna do the this cream one first okay this is cute you tie it in the back let me tie it real quick for you. tie it the best way you can here i guess i can tie it around like my waist a couple times child hold on now Okay. All right. Forget how to tie that. I don't care. But that's a cute. I like the back out. I really like that back out. That's really cute. I love a good back out. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Love a good back out. Love a good back. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is the same thing in green. I don't really feel like putting it on. You know what? I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. On. Cause I want y'all to get the picture. Okay, so let's try to do a, a better tie. Let's like go like this. We could do a little tie in the front, honey. A little bow in the front action. Oh, oh, okay. Still with the back out. Still giving you back. Baby got back. Here's another top. This is cute. This is another top that I got. This is cute. It's cute with some jeans. This is like a date, girls' night. I don't know. This is really like multifunctional. I could wear this to the club if we went in a panty, okay? But we in a panty, honey. We ain't going nowhere. Not for real, for real. This is cute. 
of this bloat. This bloat is not for me. It's not for me. Okay. This is cute. Like, I think, like, I know that I have really broad shoulders. It's because I've been an athlete my whole life. But um, I don't really like completely off the shoulder tops or, like, strapless tops. But it's something about like just having like an off the shoulder sleeve that makes me feel a little bit better about my broad shoulders and it's not that like I'm completely not confident in them it's just I just feel like it just makes them look better and rather than just like having just straight strapless I don't know that's just like my thing I don't know I didn't close the close it all the way but it's like a corset. Um, it's really like a corset for real. So, last but not least, I got this dress. Let's see, let me back up. It has like this, the detailing on the side. I'm gonna give y'all a better look in a minute, but. Oh. <laughs> I like the red color. This is giving me very much Christmas. I probably will be wearing this in the holiday season for an event. Or something like I don't know. Who knows? We're in a panty. This is cute. I really love this kind of like stacked material on the arms. And I like the like ruching thing that they have on. Uh oh. I made it come apart. Ugh, I hate bothering stuff like that. But I really like the ruching. It's really like bodycon and it feels really good and it's so comfortable like this might be the favorite my favorite thing that i've ordered these are all items again from black and posh i'll leave their information down below this wasn't sponsored i bought everything with my own money they had an excellent black friday sale so i thought why not support and i had i am happy with my purchase and you know i'll be continuing to watch their page to see if they drop some more fire stuff Oh, and if you didn't know, like, if you haven't caught on to the brand, this is black owned and it's woman owned. If you just, if you're new here. Hey, y'all. Today's December 1st, so it's officially vlogmas season. <laughs> okay, it is 321. I do have a meeting in like 10 minutes or nine minutes now. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all about how my day just was really just not off to the greatest start and how I'm officially starting my work day at 3 o'clock. Yep, that's what happened. Um, so this morning, I did go to the chiropractor. My mom and I both went to the chiropractor. And we were there for about three hours, and I just wasn't really expecting that. And then after that, we had errands to run, and we didn't get back until like 1. I had not eaten, um, and I was just exhausted. And sometimes you just need to start over. Sometimes you just need to start over. So I took a nap. I did and I woke up and now I'm ready to do something productive. Yes, I have my robe on, I'm at my desk, I'm ready. So I do have a meeting in about eight minutes now because it's 322 now and I plan on writing some goals today. I have to edit this vlog here to post tomorrow and I also am hoping I can get some pictures while it is still daylight outside though I don't know if that'll be possible because the sun goes down at like five o'clock and all the other things that I need to do today are at top priority on my list um so yeah we're just gonna see how this day goes and you know go from there but it's okay you know sometimes your day doesn't go as planned but you have to make it work and that is what I will do. All right, so just uploaded my Thanksgiving vlog. And now I'm going to write my goals. If you all remember, I do color coordinate my goals. So I have all of my markers and then I have like what I'm going to write written down. Um, I typically write my goals on a big white paper but like I said our house is in Airbnb mode so I just don't feel like I just don't feel like doing all that. So I'm still gonna write them down. Um, 
like I said, I color coordinate, so business is blue. My brand is like this pink color. Financial is this green color, and then mental in general is in red. So I don't really feel comfortable with sharing you all my goals, but I think I'm going, after I write down these, I'm gonna write down like some mock goals, just so you can see how it looks, um, just in case maybe you were interested in writing your goals and you weren't sure how to organize them.